Imagine an AI agent that can understand how you write blogs and then rewrites your future blogs based on them. It understands the voice, it understands the sentiments, it understands how you write and then rewrite your new blogs for you. Now you can easily sell this to small businesses who have to write blogs manually or have to pay thousands of dollars to copywriters. And I'll show you right now how you can build this pretty easily. Let's get started. So this is how we'll start the block. You'll start it with a telegram trigger. Uh, you can use any kind of trigger you want, whether it's WhatsApp, whether it's telegram or any other thing that you want. You can definitely use it. I'm using telegram trigger right now. Uh, we're doing it on message. Whenever I send a message to telegram trigger, uh, Whenever I send a message to Telegram bot, it will get triggered and write a block for me on whatever topic I want, right? To connect it, just click on the docs here and it will tell you step by step how you can connect it. The next step is we need to get all the blocks from the website. I'm using right now Anatain's website, but you can use your client or your website to get all the data. It will scrape out all the data from your website and it will give us right here. The next step is to capture all the articles from it. So this is picking up all the articles that NADN has written. We, we are extracting all the HTML data from it. And then this is a very simple uh, CSS script. And if you're confused on things like this, I do a lot of chat GPT around things, how, how to find stuff like this and I get all my answers through it. Uh, but I'll tell you how you can get those answers to uh, in this video somewhere. But yeah, once you extract all the links, uh, we're just splitting those links out in a table format uh, through the split out URLs. Once you do that, picking up latest five articles to analyze the data, you can pick up as much articles as you want, right? So for, for this example, I'm just picking up five articles so that the AI agent will start learning from those five blocks. Once you do that, it picks out all the data from those five articles that, that we've given it to the uh, agent, right? So what it will do with the latest five articles, it is picking up all the data from it. And it is returning the value in HTML format because that's what we want. Once we get the data from the HTML format, we are moving it to a markdown node. Now what this node will do is this will uh, take all that HTML data and it will convert it into a much better format, right? Uh, the format that is used on the articles in the website so that our AI agent can easily understand what type of format uh, the user is using in the past uh, so that we can copy the exact same format and build further blogs on it. Now, once you give it this data, this is just the data from uh, the last articles that we've extracted. It's going to move it to a combined articles node. Why? So it is picking up the five articles right now, right? Five articles for, on a different level. Now it will combine all of them together so that we can further send this data out to our AI agents in, in, and the AI agents can further analyze the whole data at once. Now, once this data is combined, it is going into this AI agent node. And this is a very important node for us. Uh, it is picking up all the data JSON right here. And then we have written a small prompt here. Uh, you can make it much more detailed based on your or your client's requirement. Uh, given the following one or more articles, uh, describe how best one could replicate common structure, layout, language, and writing style. So all these four things it is going to analyze. If you want to add more, feel free to. It, it will give you much better results. And then the combined articles are going into a second node, which is going to extract all the vo voice characteristics of that particular uh, block, right? Of, of all those five blocks, it will understand what kind of voice uh, the user writes in. Uh, this is a small code which is picking up all the characteristics, descriptions and example. And then we are writing a prompt here. You help identify and define a company and individual's grand voice. So this AI agent will analyze uh, the way you write, the, the way you think because that's how you write, right? And uh, once it analyzes that, it will send it further to uh, this node. But before it goes there, we're using GPT-40 Mini right now. You can use any kind of LLM model here. If you want to use DeepSeek, I'll leave a link right here. You can use DeepSeek. It is going to be pretty easy to use uh, and pretty cheap also. But GPT-40 Mini is good for now. Uh, one thing I want to mention is if you're confused how all of these nodes are working, what's the purpose of them? Why do we even use them? You can definitely join my school community. Uh, so this is the last personal AI agent that I've shown. I'll leave it right up here. You can definitely watch it out how I build it and you can copy it. But I, I give a step-by-step -step explanation on why I have used each and every node. Because you are a beginner, it's hard to understand. This is why this has each and every step and each and every notes explanation why we are using it and why it is really helpful for you. This one document will help you understand all the concepts so that further uh, automations that you create by yourself, you understand what you're doing. Now, uh, this has the template also that I've created. So you can definitely download all those templates from it uh, and uh, a link to my YouTube. Uh, so definitely check it out. Link will be down here. So moving forward to our automation, now, once it has extracted both these things, it is going to again combine it right here. 
uh, once it combines the text and output data, it will send it to our content generation AI agent, right? So what this does is, uh, it's going to, uh, so we're using the Telegram trigger because we're using Telegram trigger right now. Uh, and we're giving it the prompt, a very simple, easy prompt right now. It, it's a bit more structured. Uh, you could definitely copy my prompt here and you can use it. And if you want to add more data, feel free to. Uh, but uh, this is a, you're a professional blog writer. This is uh, all the headlines, all the data inside the blog, how it should come up. This is the main point here. We're telling it to understand the brand article voice. And then it, we're telling it to understand the style, right? So these two things will help the AI agent to understand it and then further write the new blogs on the basis of that. Now, once you do it, uh, feel free to copy all of this. These are just the uh, schema type that we're using for this particular note. Uh, and we're again using chat GPT here. You can easily use DeepSeek. You can easily use any other LLM model. Feel free to. Uh, and then the last note, you can keep it anything, right? So I, you can keep it WordPress. I would highly suggest that because that's where you would want your uh, clients' blogs to go. I don't have a WordPress blog right now, so I'm not I'm not doing it. But you can do create a post, and then uh, the data will be directly moving forward to WordPress. And then you can tell you ask your client if it if if the client likes it or not, and if they do, they can post it. So this is how you create uh, the whole data set around this. Uh, I hope uh, you really like this video. If you have any doubts or any notes. Feel free to write them in the comment box below. I'll answer you that. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.